Welcome to the February week one installment of Stacker News. What did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? In this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite top 20-ish videos of the week to help you decide which to watch. And maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. But before we get into the videos, I want to let you know about an awesome virtual conference coming up next week. It's a conference on all things Node.js, gathering backend and full stack engineers across the globe in the cloud. To help you stay up to date on the latest Node.js tech, the Git Nation team, who you might know from React Summit and JS Nation, is coming back with a new remote gig on February 18th and 19th. That's next week. So mark your calendars for the biggest virtual event for the Node.js community. Attend Node Congress to get a good grip on the latest Node.js tech with backend rocket scientists. Besides the conference talks delivered by well-known pros, be prepared for some awesome MCs and a number of virtual activities, interactive entertainment, and engaging challenges for all participants. The first day is free, but I'll be giving away five full access passes for both days on Twitter. So be sure to look out for that tweet. So go ahead and reserve your free spot at nodecongress.com. Now on to the news. These are in no particular order. Are you really using WordPress templates as a developer? In this video, Keth Marr from Developer Habits talks about when using WordPress templates might be a good thing. Up next in this one and a half hour course, Coder One will help you learn Redux from scratch. He'll teach you how to set up your environment with all of the dependencies, You'll set up Redux with State Store and Manage State from your React components. You'll also create a full app with RESTful APIs that will display a list of users and you'll be able to view each user's profile, all using the Redux Store to manage the React state. If you missed my video from last week, I went over 300 plus free developer resources that you need to check out. The complete list is hosted on GitHub, so if you have some resources that you want to add to the list, just submit a PR. Up next, Danny Thompson makes a portfolio site only using HTML and CSS. This is a perfect tutorial for a beginner. And every developer needs a portfolio. It's like your business card. So be sure to check that out. Next is just another tutorial on how to use Google. Ben Awad shows us how to Google and lets us know that we suck at coding. Next is an amazing video from Brian Jinx. He has ADHD and he talks about how it has affected him after 10 years unmedicated. He recently started taking medication again, and he talks about how it's affected him and the pros and cons of being medicated. And many people deal with this, and it's great that he's talking about it in the open. I'm sure that this video is going to help a lot of people out. In this video, Tech with Tim shows you how to make a website with Python using Flask, authentication, databases, and much more. The goal of this video is to give you what you need to make a finished product that you can tweak and turn into anything that you'd like. Next up, Tech World with Nana explains Fluenty. Fluenty is an open source log data collector, which lets you unify the data collection and consumption for a better use and understanding of data. With Fluenty, you can send any data from any data source to any destination or storage. She covers why we actually need log data, challenges of collecting and consuming logs, and how Fluenty can help. Next, Kylo Loco kicks off 30 days of Flutter with a tutorial covering how to build your first Flutter app. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a better understanding of how Dart and Flutter work together, as well as a functional app that helps you pick a restaurant to eat at. Be sure to keep up with this 30-day series. In the next video, Niall at Kodu Community explains APIs in plain English. Does he speak English? Be sure to check out this beginner's guide to APIs. Next, Codem released a free portion of his advanced React course where you'll learn patterns, performance, environment, and testing. Now, if you don't use Emmet, or worse, have never heard of Emmet, you need to check out this video from Kevin Powell. He'll cover some of the most useful features and show you how to code faster with Emmet. Up next, Christian at ByteSize gives us an update on his latest side project, and it's profitable. Congrats! In this video, he shows us how he used Cloudflare workers and Cloudinary to create Twitter images for posts when they get shared on Twitter. Next, Chow Codes has some good news. I'm not going to spoil it, but congratulations. And next, Anyakubo shows us how to write your first unit testing using Mocha and Chai. Mocha is a popular testing framework and Chai is an assertion library. Testing is super important and Anya makes it super simple. 
Next, we have the final Taco Showdown. Emma Bastian joins Jason Langsdorf on Learn With Jason to finally settle their Taco Bell debate. They finish up the visualizations of the app to display the results of the voting, which determine who has the best taste in tacos. Spoiler alert, it seems that Taco Bell is a food and Jason is a snobby hipster that needs to get off his judgy taco high horse. Those are not my words. Next, for a bit of humor, check out this video from Decode where he shows us the hardest thing about being a programmer. It's picking variable names. By the way, but if you want to see a programming tutorial from Deco, check out his video where he shows you how to build a days until counter using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you're looking for a great playlist to listen to while coding, check out this almost eight hour video from Catlin Pitt. It's lo-fi chill beats for programming, coding, or studying. It's now time for the underrated video of the week, Swashbuckling with Code. That's an awesome name. In this two hour tutorial, Jimmy Cleveland shows you how to set up your project with Webpack 5. He goes through everything, Babel, CSS, SAS, PostCSS, React with automatic importing, React's fast refresh with Webpack, and much more. I'm not sure how this channel only has 500 subscribers, so go give him a sub. And I hope this video was helpful. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.